Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word allows you to insert various shapes into your document. For example, you could place a circle around important information that you'd want people to notice. If you use Word to create marketing flyers, newsletters, or other types of publications, you may want to insert types of shapes to add visual interest to your documents. Inserting shapes into your document is easy. Start by clicking the Insert tab within the ribbon, and then click the Shapes button found in the Illustrations group. You can then view a drop-down menu of all of the various shapes you can insert. Roll your mouse pointer over the shape to insert it, and then click it to select it. Your mouse pointer will then appear as a black crosshair when you place it over the document. Decide where you want the shape to appear, and then click and drag across the area in the document where you want the shape to appear. The shape will then be inserted into your document. You also have a few techniques available for you to use that can assist you in creating your shapes. For example, if you hold down the shift key as you click and drag while drawing, this will create a perfect version of the selected shape. For example, holding shift while drawing lines will make the line perfectly straight. You can create perfect circles and squares, and ovals and rectangles. So the circle will then not be distorted like the oval was when we stretched it out. If you don't care about setting the size of your shape as you insert it, then you can use a different method to insert a selected shape. Using this method, you still start by selecting the shape from your ribbon using the Shapes button. Next, hold down the Shift key on the keyboard. Then, click into the place into the document where you want to position the upper left corner of the shape. Word will insert a shape with a default size into the position at which you clicked. Once you have inserted the shape into your document, the mouse pointer turns to its default behavior and you exit Word's drawing mode. However, sometimes you may want to draw several of the same shapes over and over again without having to go back and reselect the same shapes from the Shapes button. In this case, you may want to lock Word into its drawing mode as you select your desired shape. To do this, right-click on the shape that you want to draw within the Shape button's drop-down menu instead of clicking it. From the pop-up menu that appears, click on the Lock Drawing Mode command. Now you can return to your document and draw as many instances of the selected shape as you wish. Note that you can cancel this drawing mode by simply pressing the Escape key on your keyboard or by right-clicking into the blank area of the document. After you draw a shape, the shape should appear selected within the document. However, if it is not, click it to select it prior to formatting it. Once the shape has been selected, you will see the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab appear in the ribbon. This tab provides you with several formatting options for the selected shape. We will now examine what formatting options are available for selected shapes. You will find that many of the formatting options are similar to the options that are available when formatting selected pictures. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free